Hi friends, so you have exams coming up very soon and you want to actually get good grades. Just click on the right video for you. This video will be giving you tips on how to ace that exam you're about to write, okay? Make sure to watch to the end. If you don't already know me, I am then I go and make videos. I'm a pharmacy student. I make videos based on pharmacy school and lifestyle in general. You will love this channel. So here's me telling you to subscribe. <laughs> before you start studying you should have a goal of the study section setting goals before studying actually keeps you going and makes you know why you're studying these goals could be that you want to have a professional knowledge in the career that you're studying or you're satisfying your parents or you just want to get good grades so the next point is choosing where to study so you have to actually understand yourself and know if you can actually study where there is noise or where there's no noise and if you know that you cannot study where there's no noise there's no point of you wasting your time trying to study in a noisy environment just go and look for an environment that is calm and quiet like the library classrooms and so on this also brings me to the next point sometimes we lose focus while studying you're reading and then your mind is somewhere else thinking about something else some people would say you should write it down well for me i used to have a lot of thoughts coming up whenever i read so i'm like how many times do i have to write down these thoughts like how many times seriously so the next point is using um music when i say music no i don't mean music like the ones you sing to your favorite songs the ones with lyrics and all that there is this sound it's called white noise the most popular one is white noise but there are pink noise brown noise but white noise can just do the thing for you if you're in a noisy environment you can actually use this if you know that the noise will be disturbing you you to like keep the noise away and keep you very focused well when i started using sounds like white noise to study like i saw a lot of improvements like i could study for longer time i could study without getting distracted i could study with all the thoughts out of my head so you should be trying this then the time of the studying actually matters i know some people will be like it doesn't really matter well for my personal experience whenever i study in the morning i tend to like be more efficient than whenever i study in the night i don't know why so you should just try and find out which time i did not say you should only study in the morning because of that you know now studying the night no it just means that you should make out more time in the morning to actually study than in the night maybe in the night you can do other things then early mornings sub stuff like that make our time to like study is actually improve your efficiency because when we want to study to pass our exam we are trying to study at the smartest way possible we'll follow the right path the easiest the soft life path to achieving things we want to achieve and even do it at a shorter time so just imagine in the morning you would have read a topic and in an hour you're done with the topic but in the night the topic will take you two hours why not just make time in the morning and use an hour to study and use the rest of your time to do more important things right then another one is having positive thoughts towards your exams so basically you have an exam coming up you're already scared you're saying i'm not even going to pass this exam i'm going to face this exam ah, what kind of exam is this no this people to set <laughs> this people they set hard questions i'm going to fail it ah uh, let me just read the but i know that this exam will be hard no don't say that how would you speak with your mouth actually somehow affects the way you think and you do things right so you have an exam coming you're like well i can't do this i have always done this in the past i've passed all my exams this is not going to be different no matter how these lecturers want to set their exams i am going to read and understand and i will answer every exam just be very positive about everything you say it's actually boost your morale like it's actually boost your morale to like read more like be interested in the reading to pass the exams rather than be interested in just okay let me just read anyhow anyhow child what will happen will happen i know if you get what i'm saying <laughs> the next point i have is getting organized getting organized in the sense that you have a to-do list of things you want to do books you want to read even if it's a day you want to study you have a to-do list of everything you want to do that day so that your productivity this is just to increase your productivity you already you can write this to-do list a day before or the day you wake up you write it the day before you wake up okay you know these are what you're doing you don't have to like start pressing your phone wasting them doing things that are unnecessary the next one is knowing what kind of learner you are some people are visual learners auditory learners like 
visual remember everything you see with your eyes you can instead of reading textbook first you can like watch youtube videos then you cannot come back to reading and all that if you are someone that watching videos does not help you at all then you should be nowhere near watch not like you should be nowhere near watching video but that should be like once you're done with everything and then you're like okay i have so much extra time and then i just want to watch this video for added advantage then you can go ahead and do it then the last one is uh, you actually have to have a study technique so i know right now you're wondering okay what's now the right study technique the two study techniques that i will advise you to go with is the active recall and the space repetition what is active recall this is tasking your brain to actually remember what you've understood and fed your brain and then doing this over and over again is the space repetition how do you active recall you can actually recall by having questions written out as you study that you will ask yourself at the end of the study and then you do this for days after today you've asked yourself a question you wait maybe after two days to refresh your brain with the information and make your brain able to remember it faster there are different ways you can active recall having questions flashcards blotting method in the sense that you ask your brain questions and then you close your book and write it out in a separate book or you can actually say it with your mouth there are a lot of them if you want to know more about it, let me know in the comment section with these tips i've given you i believe that a is for you nobody's gonna drag the a with you even your lecturers will not drag that a with you if you've watched to this point make sure to subscribe and like this video give it a thumbs up bye see you guys in my next video